So this video outlines how to do a streak isolation and the goal of a streak isolation is to take a culture and spread it out, thin it out such that you're going to have just a few nice spread out, easy to pick up colonies on a petri plate. So I'm using a paper here to show you an example of the sort of the, the procedure and so you can see the zigzag and the streak procedure as we go. So I'm gonna start with, uh, I would be using a loop but I'm going to draw here, so we're going to pretend that the Sharpie is acting as our sterile loop. And I would pick up a little bit of culture, and I would come over to the plate and make, it'll be about a one centimeter smear on the plate. This is a little bit bigger of a circle, so I'm a little bit bigger. Then I would take my loop here, and I would sterilize that, let that cool. And I would go back through this smear several times. And when, again, what I'm doing here is trying to spread and thin this out and go all the way across, but I want to stay near the edge of the plate. Then I'm going to go and sterilize my tool again. Let it cool. I would come back. Again, I'm going to be thinning out my existing culture. I'm not picking up any new bacteria. So I want to go back through that previous zigzag several times. Then I would sterilize my tool again, sterilize my loop, come back. I'm going to do my third set of zigzags, crossing back through. You now see I'm thinning out here as I go. I'm thinning out what I have, back through several times. And then I would sterilize my tool again, let it cool. And I'm going to do my last, my fourth uh, zigzag, my fourth streak through here. And as I do that, you're going to see I'm going to spread it out because I'm trying to, again, kind of thin out the bacteria. So I'm going to go back through. But as I go through the middle, I'm going to really start to spread that out. I don't want to touch any of my other zigzags here, but I'm just trying to thin this out. My goal is, by doing that, is that as I move out to this last portion, and I'll show this again where you can get a better view, but I'm trying to, let me take the lid off there, I'm trying to get those bacteria kind of spread out and by themselves so I can spread up, get pick up an individual colony. Okay, so that was our demonstration. Now I'm going to actually do the streak isolation procedure. I'm turn this over. Okay, now I'm going to actually use, again, my lube, which is sterile here. I have my starting culture, and you can start with a variety of different media. So you might be starting from a broth or a slant. I'm going to be using a Petri plate here. So I'm going to pick up a tiny amount of bacteria, just like I want to be doing with most of my work here in the lab. I'm going to go to my Petri plate. And remember, you want to notice where the auger is. We want to look for that cloudy auger medium on the bottom. That's where we're going to be depositing our bacteria. We don't want to put it on the lid. So I'm going to do my one centimeter smear. Now you're going to be clamshelling yours. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid here just so you can see it a little better on the video. And I'm going to do my one centimeter vertical smear. I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to sterilize my loop, let it cool for 30 seconds. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. I'm, you, again, you'll be clamshelling. I'm going to take the lid off entirely. I'm going to go back over my one centimeter smear and I'm going to thin that out. So go back over it several times, zigzag all the way across, but stay towards the edge. I'm closing that again, sterilize my loop, let it cool, go back. This is going to be my next set of zigzags, I'm going to go back through several times. The idea is that I'm thinning this out here. Put my lid on. Sterilize my loop, let it cool. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds, my loop has cooled. I'm going to go back in again. You'll be clamshelling. I'm taking this off just so we can see better the procedure. And I'm going to go back through my last zigzag. This is my third one, several times. Spreading that out, put the lid back on, I'm going to sterilize the loop again, let it cool. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. I'm going to do my last zigzag. Now as I do this one again, remember I'm going to spread out the zigzag almost like a fishtail pattern as I get towards the end. So I'm going to go back through my last zigzag, do it 
several times. And as I move out, I'm going to spread that out to try to thin out the bacteria. And then finally, I would sterilize this loop and let it cool. Put that in there to cool. And when we look at this procedure when it's finished, when the bacteria has had time to grow, again, our goal is, I'm going to take the lid off so we can see a little bit better. Here was our starting smear. Here was our zigzag, that first set of zigzags several times. And we had flamed our loop. We went back over it several times. Flamed our loop again. Did one a third time set of zigzags. And you can may turn this as you go as you're doing this. When we had our last set of zigzags, we go through and we fishtail out. And the goal is here, you can see as you're starting to fishtail out, is that you spread out these colonies sufficiently that you have an individual colony that you can pick up. The idea is here that the bacteria found in this colony are all identical to each other. So we're trying to thin it out, spread it out. So when we touch down to this one colony and pick up our bacteria, all those bacteria are identical. And that is how we do the streaked isolation.